Hello, welcome back. Today, I think I said it in the last electric recording company video too, this is for me always one of the highlights in the month. You almost get one release per month from the electric recording company and highlights, real highlights, hard to get. I know 300 copies, but you know, this month they put out Mr. Bill Evans, the Bill Evans Trio Portrait in Jazz, the mono version, the true mono version. And we will talk about this release in this video. And I also want to make a little show off of, of the other electric recording company releases they did from from Bill Evans. This is the the sixth the, the sixth release from the ERC when it comes to Bill Evans. So for that label, I think Bill Evans is the best covered artist. I'm quite sure now there's nobody else that has that many releases. And um, let's see if there will be more. I do hope so. I really do hope so. And I really, really do like that they uh, put out from all three albums, the stereo and the mono version. I think this is a great thing. This is, this is a beautiful thing that you can compare them. And uh, in a minute we talk about the release, but let me briefly go through the content. As usual, you get this outer sleeve. I don't use them. I have my vinyl storage solution. The whole record is packed in this rice paper. You get different inner sleeves this time. Simply a white one with a poly-lined inner sleeve inside this paper sheet. I don't know why this is only a white one. Then of course we get our OB, like with every release from the electric recording company and this time excuse me and this time it says officially sanctioned concord music group incorporation all valve heritage pressing mastered from the original analog master tapes cut in true in true mono aural using the uh, usual mastering configuration Handcrafted sleeve, artfully, faithfully recreated using a vintage letterpress procedure. Released in a strictly limited, individually numbered edition of 300. <coughs> Excuse me. Featuring iconic holy grail recordings by the most revered jazz artists. Nothing wrong with that. Then, of course, you get your certificate. Title information came out in 2022. This is a catalog number ERC 52M for mono. And I got the number 67. Okay, that's for the content. I also would love to show you the vinyl. <laughs> no complaints at all here. I hope you know, it's always a bit different, difficult with the focus. I try it, maybe it, I think it, uh, can you see? Yeah, you can see it. Look at this, or that, I don't know, deep groove. They do the most perfect, most beautiful deep groove here in the label, in the business. It's, it's stunning. That I really, I really do love that. Fantastic. If you compare that to other deep grooves from other companies, this is really quite something. So now, now for the release. But maybe this is, by the way, the stereo version. This is in the inner sleeve, so you don't have that, this matte 
finish you can't see that here stereo not that you can oversee it the album itself is, has quite an interesting story because this is the first time he has his trio the Bill Evans trio with Scott LaFaro on bass and Paul Motion on drums and he really take his time to, to put together together this 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 uh, trio this album came out six months after he did together with Miles Davis and others um, kind of blue where, where, where Bill Evans I, I think it's safe to say that he was one of the key figures when it comes to this incredible release and he really take took his time uh, to develop this trio and, and and the outcome you know what what's so striking when it comes to to bill evans in my opinion and this this trio recordings they put every and especially bill evans himself he puts every standard in into an in, into a jewel an individual jewel and and that's so stunning when it comes to to uh, 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 Bill Evans, the original, the original release was in 1959, and again we have here a mono release like they did with the uh, Miles Davis and 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 the Coltrane's they have put out, and again we have a stunning outcome. Uh, they really, as I said, uh, when it comes to the Miles Davis release, they really put up their equipment and and you can hear it it's it's it's, it's groundbreaking uh, groundbreaking in its simplest simplicity and and in, in in the clearness the smoothness although of course the sound stage is is not as wide as with the stereo release of course you have your differences there but this overall immersive effect with this mono release is is outstanding i don't we don't need to discuss about the quality of, of this release or same of course goes for the stereo release i also did in comparison between the stereo release release and the and the mobile fidelity sound lab bill evans and um you know when when I compared when I compared the uh, Marvin Gaye what's going on the the Kevin Gray remaster with the Mobile Fidelity uh, uh, One Step remaster, it reminded me so much of of the comparison between the Bill Evans and and the Mofi Bill Evans because we really have that same effect the the laid back softness smoothness beautiful effect of this all valve analog uh, master where nothing has been tempered in a way you you get what's on the tape and and no uh, uh, mixing uh, or whatsoever has been done here they they the star is their mastering system and and for those of you who can compare the Marvin Gaye against the Mofa one step this is what I'm talking about when it comes to those ERC releases. What what makes them so special, so special for me? The other releases um, we, we I want to show you briefly that that the Electric Recording Company has put out is everybody digs Bill Evans. We have that release here. The mono is here. You see no stereo. <laughs> And the stereo release see not difficult to overlook and of course my all-time favorite my all-time favorite the Bill Evans trio Sunday at the village Vanguard what a stunning fantastic release especially especially these to the mono and the stereo release from from the electric recording company here you have the stereo release stunning releases so extremely happy to have them and 
not easy to get of course but those are real true gems in, in, in my collection but you know I can't resist I, I really do listen to them quite often because this is you know, this that has something I think you 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 get my point you hear that it was my coffee machine sorry um, yeah that's that's what I wanted to say what I can say about about these Bill Evans releases I hope they do more of them and of course and that's a great thing and I will dig into it very deeply and of course I will do a video you know Chad Kassam announced the repress of his fantastic probably huge huge box set from from Bill Evans I think those are 22 records those are amongst them and this of course will be quite an interesting comparison those ERC releases the MoFi One Steps this will be quite something I, I can't wait to do those and I'm, I'm, I'm really eager uh, uh, for this outcome this is a total open race in, in, <coughs> in my opinion although I probably I'll probably uh, expe I expect I expect that the outcome is probably that it's again a question of taste it's, which is of course quite often is I think they all do fantastic jobs and they set different standards and different directions and and it has something to do with your stereo equipment with your mute with your general idea of how you want your equipment uh, uh, sound and then you have probably when it comes to this level releases where you say this is totally the way I want it to be or you can say like in my case for example when it comes to the when it comes to the otherwise very very good uh, Marvin Gaye one step that it sometimes is too much sibling too much s but yeah that's that's also of course your taste everything comes with the cost when you decide for one direction you lose one thing when you go in the other direction you gain something different but lose it on the other side and and I think that's what I have to learn that that you probably can't have it all you have to make decisions of the direction you want uh, your outcome uh, be what what is your main purpose and and what you gain on the one point you you lose on the other hand okay not enough talking for today thank you for your time and i really hope to see you on the next one bye <laughs>